I'm David Lee reporting for Hudson TV News. I'm here in James J. Braddock Park for a candlelit vigil in recognition of International Overdose Awareness Month. And if you're um, someone who is suffering and going through issues of your own, we're here to help. Um, and if you're a family member who might be going through it, we're here to help. The past two years have affected our community um, severely, um, not only just with um, addiction, but also with mental health issues. And they, they tend to walk hand in hand and because most of our um, addiction resources were virtual, recovery court was also virtual, it was hard because many of our community members need that one-on-one -on -one touch and, and interaction and going virtual was sometimes very difficult for our community to, to properly get the services they, they desperately needed. Law enforcement is here to help as well. We've all been given the mandate in Hudson County that we should help our population who's suffering from the disease of addiction to direct them into treatment resources is that we're not just here to arrest, but actually here to help them. Law enforcement agencies across the state of New Jersey are spending enormous resources trying to figure out creative ways to address the crisis that's taking so many of our lives and destroying so many families. Um, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office has joined with the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office on this um, candlelight vigil and awareness event for Overdose Awareness Month. The most important thing for people to know is that help is available and that there are resources that are available. In Bergen County specifically, we have a 24-7 hotline that people can call to just remind people that, um, that there's hope and, and um, connections to treatment. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction, please reach out and get help as soon as possible. I'm David Lee here in North Bergen reporting for Hudson TV News.